In mid-20th century, there are two different approaches to meaning. The first one is the logical approach, which you can find in the works of Frege, Russell, and the early writings of Wittgenstein. And the second one is ordinary language philosophy, which is also called Oxford philosophy. Strawson is a representative of this group of philosophers. And in this quote from Strawson, you can find the main insight of this approach. Neither Aristotle, Strawson says, neither Aristotelian nor Russellian rules give the exact logic of any expression of ordinary language, for ordinary language has no exact logic. So let's go on with Strawson's point in this article. Strawson says Russell's theory of descriptions embodies some fundamental mistakes. And the problem is Russell confuses sentence type with sentence use. So he says, Russell, uh, Strawson says, we are apt to fancy we are talking about sentences and expressions when we are talking about the uses of sentences and expressions. This is what Russell does. So let's see this distinction, sentence type, sentence use and utterance distinction. We have four different utterances here, but there is only one sentence type. So you can interpret this, the present King of France is bold as one sentence type in all these items. But if you are interested in the utterances here, there are four different utterances. These are all different utterances. But then, how many views we have here? There are only two uses, because these two correspond to one use. So this is the first use, and this one is the second use. There are only two uses, four utterances, and one sentence type. Meaning is a function of the sentence or expression. So meaning is a function of the sentence type. But Mentioning and referring, truth and falsity, are functions of the use of the sentence or expression. So these two different uses have different re reference, different root values. So then there is this distinction between meaning and truth value and reference. I mean, on the one hand we have meaning, on the other hand, truth and reference. Meaning and meaning of an expression, like this phrase, its general directions for its use to refer to or mention particular objects or persons. Because uh, we have the general direction here, and in this use, uttered by A in this, at this, uh, at T, T1, let's say this is T1, T2, this is one use, and in this use, it refers to a person, let's say person X. And at this time, it refers to another person. So, they have different references, but there is only one meaning. That's the general directions for its use to refer to or mention particular objects or persons. Meaning of a sentence is, again, general directions for its use in making true or false assertions. Suppose... When, when this sentence uttered by A, I mean, uh, this use, the first use is true and the second one is false. But still, they have the, even though they have different truth values, there is only one meaning here. General directions for its use in making true or false assertions. So then the source of Russell's mistake was that he thought that referring or mentioning, if it occurred at all, must be meaning. This is the problem. This is the source of source of Russell's mistake. Let me give you an example. The, this example is from Strawson's article. When you say the table is it table is covered with books, if this is a sentence type, if you are not really using this sentence in any particular context to refer to a specific table. If you are just saying this as a sentence, then these questions like what object is this sentence about or is this sentence true or false? I mean, what object is that sentence about in general? Is that sentence in general about or is this sentence true or false? Is this sentence in general true or false? Would be meaningless questions. 
Because reference truth value are about uses, utterances of sentence types. They are not about sentence type. If you are using this sentence in a particular situation to refer to a particular ta specific table, then you can ask is this sentence true or false, or you can ask what object is that sentence about. For Russell, as you remember, we analyze sentences by reducing them into logical form, most of which involves existential quantifications. So this sentence, the present king of France is bold, means that there is, uh, there is exactly one present king of France, and that person is bold. So then this sentence and this, this one, it is because this part, this is, I mean, meaning of this, is part of meaning of the present king of France is bold. In general, when you say the, in any sentence in this form, the phi is psi entails the exist, existence of existence of phi. It is because for Russell, when you say the phi is psi, what you mean is that there is exactly one phi, and that phi is psi. For Strawson, on the other hand, this existential statement is not part of the meaning of this sentence. Rather, this is a presupposition. Once this sentence type to be used, this presupposition must be must be successful. I mean, if this presupposition fails, it means that if there is no present king of France, then this sentence type cannot be used. Then it would not have any truth value. In general, when you say the phi is psi, existence of phi is not an entailment or is not part of the meaning of this sentence. Rather, it is a presupposition. So the the one of the important point here is that for Russell any sentence any sentence is either true or false. But for Strawson, if presupp if, if presupposition if the presupposition fails, then that sentence cannot be true or false. So for Strawson there are sentences with no truth value. Because presupposition is the condition for that sentence to be used. If you cannot really use that sentence in a particular situation, like this one, because since there is no present king of France, since, since there is no king of France now, I cannot really make use of this sentence now. So this sentence for Strawson cannot be used now. When you try to use it, that sentence would not have any truth value. But for Russell, any sentence has a truth value. Has a truth value. That's the end of this part. Thanks for listening.